the plural possible. I hear you talking about we a lot. Oh, you speak French now. That's an epigraph from the legendary party next door. Past the Greek Orthodox Church, we linger down streets named after martyrs. The smell of fried potatoes clings to the skin of nostrils. Ahead, Avenue de Ghana. Unmoored in the land of Moors, Google Maps is thankfully useless. Old Medina swallows us whole. Detours to follow, detours to abandon. Unforgiving stretches of alleyways and dead ends. A being together that welcomes the uncertainty of a false step. If there's no definable entrance or exit, you can't get lost. Lost loses meaning. Track your way in tea houses. Hissing oil vies with Miriam Makeba's daughter asking us if we remember Malcolm, if we remember what it meant to wake up black and alive and free in Algiers. The long 20th century rattles like a loose tooth in the mouth. Let us skirt the puddles of its failures. Crisp apple and mint, pass the pipe clockwise. So much of it all depends on how, not what we remember. Hooded men sweep doorsteps. The Sahel remains securitized. Dispossession has to be more than an icebreaker. Kinship more than the kindling of decolonial lullabies. We are trying to be responsible with our pain. The coast will not let us forget it. A cab ride away, time belongs to plastic debris and giggling schoolgirls. Sunburnt expats turn suburbs into playgrounds. We approach where Fanon once shared bread with howling fighters. Like all children of Manichaean nightmares, he worked but barely slept. At the clinic near me, they called him the Black Doctor. There were other names, some less polite, all closer to some kind of truth. What are a few words between bloodied brothers? The blood of the Maghrib is sufficiently generous, quote, unquote. Massacred villages jostle for space in his footnotes. Some of us will spend a lifetime competing for the acknowledgement of wounds. We are together for better and for worse, quote, unquote. Fanon's cavernous we, the we of the Algerian, the Martinican, the exiled South African mother singing, the Sahrawi guerrilla, the Somali teenager in the Libyan prison camp. Fanon's we had the capacity to contain them. His colleagues believed in a we too shrunken for reciprocity. Politics is a passing of the we, the maintenance of its enclosure, the engulfment of all who attempt to escape its confines. This is territory as terror. The plural personal is the evidence of murderous affinity. It is always an absence. Who is betrayed by every assumed we? Later, we trade bad jokes and olives on the roof. The children of rural southerners and seasoned hustlers recount revolutions, trigger happy snipers, fleeing despots and embittered survivors. Ours is a revolving cast of characters. The fortunate ones can afford to exchange one banilu for another. Distant cousins are both blueprints and harbingers. Desire is bidirectional. The vantage point makes all the difference. Africa becomes a repository of unceasing fantasies, the sublimation of our curdled angst. It does not move, not until we move over it or back to it. Self-deception is an occupational hazard of returnee life. Here, the soda is a radioactive orange. After dark, we will grill chicken and discuss the lapsarian nature of grief. We are trying to disentangle the we, to test its dimensions, to scuff our shoes against its brittle edges. This will feel like a kind of death, a death on the job site, a death at the movies. People like us are dying anyway, people like us but not us. Daily the distinction collapses even as it establishes itself. I don't want to guard something I don't own.